Raymond and I were together for seven years when we found out that he was sick. He was like, this is not going to beat me. I am going to beat this. And I believed him. With his passion for life and his sense of humor. But three years is a long time. You have days of hope and then you just know. Constantly out of sight, I watched my Raymond shrivel up. And our friends were in denial. It was left to me to be there for him. But you were there for me. You helped me reach my friends. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Mike. Jeremy, welcome back. We haven't seen you in a while. Would you like to share? I am Jeremy, I know some of you. Today will make it one year. Share with the new members what brought you here. I lost my partner, Simon. He was viciously attacked and left for dead in a pool of his own blood. That night I had insisted that we go to this new gay chic club on Monroe and I showed up late. <laughs> My friends kept calling over and over again. They wanted to talk about it. I got rid of my phone, my answer machine, even my cell. You need to talk with your friends. Sharing makes a difference. <laughs> God, you know, give this man a share bear. You don't need to be hateful. Don't you get it, Mike? I didn't have three years. It wasn't this long farewell. It was a sudden and violent goodbye, and I wasn't there. You and Simon are missing from the wall. Let's put up his picture and remember something wonderful about Simon. Do you want to know what I remember? I remember the blood and the stench of the alley. That's what's burned into my memory. It's not your fault. You're not alone. did this to you? OK, you know what? We need to call the police. Should you have a cell phone? No. OK, I'm, I'm going to go down the no. street. I'm going to no. call. They're out there. Oh, well, maybe you should go in the back then. I... Hey, stop. I, I spilled some soap on the floor, so it might be a little slippery. See a guy come in here, tall, skinny kid, kind of messed up. No, it's just me and the roaches in here. You think this is funny? You fucking queer? Hey, hey! 
He's not here. Let's go. Gone. I need to get out of here. Can you help me? Shh, help me? They're still waiting for you outside. Look, how badly are you hurt? It's nothing. Yeah, but you're all, you're you're all bloody. I can help you. I can help you. Up. It's, it's not. It's not my blood, okay? You have something I can put on. Yeah, yeah, I do. Hey, you know what? They'll leave before long. If 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 not, a cop car will cruise by eventually. So whose blood is that? Is is that the blood from one of those assholes? No, it's someone else. What do you mean? He was in the alley. Wait a minute. There's someone in the alley, and you left him there alone. I mean, how could you do that? We've got to do something about Shut it. Shut up. And do nothing. Yeah, but he could still. There's He's a chance. Dead. This is crazy. You know what? I'm gonna go to the bar down the street. With I can't let you do that. They'll leave, and then I'm gone. You were lying to me, and I protected you. It wasn't my fault, man. It was supposed to be a game. I tried to stop them. So you're with these guys? We weren't supposed to kill anyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pathetic. <laughs> He's hurt, guys. <laughs> Where is he, the body? In the alley out back. Hey, you can't go anywhere. You have to tell the police what happened. What, are we just fun and games? We're just animals to you? What did he look like after you bashed his face in? Was his eyes lifeless? Was he staring up at you? I didn't do it! But he was in that alley because of you! What do you want me to say? Six S nine. M eight F. Six S nine. M eight F. Wait, stop. Thank you.